So I thought I'd start just by giving you a quick van tour. So heading in from the side, down here is where my fridge is going to go. It'll just slot in there and then my plan is to put my leisure battery in behind it. Once I've connected up my split charge at the minute, what I've got in here is uh, those are my blinds, my thermal blinds from Vehicle Blinds. As you can see I've got my camping chairs at the back and some uh, leftover carpet which I've not used yet. So coming up I've got my bed here, fixed bed, single bed, 70 centimetres wide. Picture of the girl at the back and the back doors are carpeted. Coming around to this side, as you can see it's all been carpeted. Got the old um, power oak on the go there, my kitchen unit. That's all carpeted, and I've got storage there, dog stuff at the bottom, my stuff in the top. Moving around into the cab real quick. I've had to kind of clean the uh, the roof. It's got a bit of a bit of a hole in it there because it overhung on to where I'd done the ply board up here. Um, so I kind of cut the cut the cab roof back. Got a bit of a shelf there that needs securing. I'll do that later. And into the front, um, I've put a new stereo in. I've got a Sony stereo, and I've put door speakers in as well. Uh, new door speakers. It sounds pretty fab. I'm having trouble with the aerial. It's a DAB, and I've got an aerial there. For some reason, when I'm driving, it goes funny. And there's a couple of wires that come off that. I tried putting one of them to a live, and that didn't seem to work. And uh, I'm going to have a tinker with it now and see if I can fix it. If anyone's got any tips on DAB radios and the aerials, uh, hit me up in the comments and let me know. It's taking all day, but I've got it in. It's got my battery secured down there. And then uh, the relay is on the other side of that board behind my driver's seat. And the wire comes down the passenger seat. Uh, so I've just done a quick test with a fridge, just to make sure it fits nice. Behind the battery, loads of room. I can actually push it back. Hmm, how far back? Looking at there. So it'll actually sit right underneath if I need it to. This gives us a bit more storage. Well, that means I can store things behind it, which is even better. So, this is how it looks under the bonnet. As you can see, I've got the uh, red cable going off there into the cab for the split charge. And uh, my power panel uh, immediately, although I have fitted an e-battery, was showing 12.6 volts. And uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but it went up to like 13.5 at one point um, after, I'd done the, uh, after I'd done the maiden voyage. So we'll just have to see how we get on with that. The last thing to do before we can set off for our maiden voyage is get some curtains in. So just to give us a bit more privacy. So that's how it looks from inside and the front. So... We've not made it to our destination yet. We left at about 12 o'clock, it's now three o'clock, and it's been the longest trip ever to the lakes, but as you can see, it's glorious out. Uh, we're at a place called the Royal Oak at uh, Spark Bridge. So I've just come for a quick cheeky beer and to use the uh, restroom, because there's nothing on board the van at the minute. And um, we're gonna have a quick beer, because they're now shut three till five, and then we'll, uh, We'll get on our way and carry on with our journey and hopefully find somewhere to sleep tonight. We did find somewhere to sleep and that was Hofwake Campsite in Torver, just down the road from Coniston. As you can see, it was quiet. It was absolutely beautiful. I think we got the best pitch on the site at the top of the hill. Couldn't get the windbreaks out or the awning, unfortunately. It was just far too windy. Not that you'd know from looking at this photo, but what a brilliant site, honest to God. Look it up. It was fabulous. Oh, here we are. Cop is going. Got some burgers on the go. Let's have a look down here. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Can't get Scarlet to sit in the van, can I? Go sit in the van, will you? Scarlet? She won't sit in the van. Well, what can I say? It was a bloody, bloody night. As you can hear now. I'm so glad I wasn't in a tent. Oh, it's, uh, I don't know what time it is, it's uh, not even 8 o'clock yet, and we're up, and it is glorious out, let's go and take it out to the sun, look at that, look at that, thank you, you've got my back door, didn't sleep too bad, considering, 
Started at one end when we had bad controls there and then ended up at the other end because my legs are too long. So now it's having a bit of a windy wind down here. What's up? Say good morning to everyone. Say good morning. There we go. And uh, yeah, everywhere's a bit of a mess, but um, we're alive. So we're going for a big hike today. So we'll, uh, we'll see you later. So we followed the locals into Coniston where, believe it or not, it was 50p to use the facilities. 50 flipping p to empty your bowels. I wasn't impressed, but they took card, which wasn't that bad. And then from there, we headed up into the mountains. Now I've left the wind noise in so you can see how horrendous the wind was. Although it was a lovely day. I had to hold on to my hat because I thought it was going to blow away and it nearly did. This clip sums up just about how windy it was. Watch these guys watch their legs when they walk around this corner and watch how this guy staggers when the wind actually hits him. I was very nearly blown off my feet a number of times. So still a way off the summit, but here's when we got to the summit. And it wasn't getting any prettier, I'll tell you that. These were lovely people. They helped us. I will quite happily take you the picture if you want. I can get you all in from here. Can you? Yeah, of course oh, I can. Let's come through, pal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. okay, so we're going to get a picture of him falling, all right? I will. You can you can stay up there. Yeah, that's it. We can look at uh, a bit of a bit, bit of a bravery scale. <laughs> Right, definitely got it all. There we go. Fabulous. Uh, no worries at all. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go off this rock. <laughs> I'm not scared. Hang on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Whoa! Come down there. Come this way. Which way do we get off this rock? Right, I'm going to try to get off. Um, let's come around. Come around here where we were before. Come around here. Come on, let's get um, That's what I'm thinking. It was over here. <laughs> Skelet! Come, come, come on, she'll come. It's uh, not bad. <laughs> come here. Which way do you want to come? We had a dress there. Come here, come here, girl. Come here, girl. Come, come. Just add. Come here, come, come. What's this? Yeah, come for a treat. Scarlet, come here. Come here, girl. Come on, it's okay. Scarlet, come here. <laughs> she says, I don't fancy that. Come here, Scarlet, I've got you. Don't sit there. <laughs> Look at her, she's saying, no way. <laughs> come here, girl. It's grass. Come, come. She's pretty nimble. Come here, girl. This way, this way. <laughs> That's it. Let's grab a collar. Come, let's drag her out. Thank you. Appreciate that. I've got you. Come on, you're not coming off the mountain. I've got you. Oh, lift. Uh, oh, I know you don't like it very much. Drag it down. Let's get over here. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Not a treat. Get you a 
treat. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Brave girl. <laughs> there you go, have one of them. So after a real quick pit stop just to grab a buddy, it was time to head down the mountain. I don't know who these people were or how I captured the photo, but I quite like it, so I thought I'd keep it in. And uh, this was the tarn, which I recognise from when I've done this mountain before, so I thought this was a good place to head down. So, we're at 14 and a half kilometres on this all trails app. Scarlet's pooped, I'm pooped, and we're on our way down. We took that road, I think, on the way up, which is the wrong road, up there, and went up on the sops to like the highest one, and now we're coming back down, which is pretty mad. But yeah, to say that we are a little bit knackered, I think I'm somewhere on my hands, um, I'm probably on my arms, my legs, and everywhere, but such is life. <laughs> yeah, look at this little girl, look at her, she's beautiful. And she's knackered. I don't know if you can, uh, if you can hear me over all this wind. This is like the bottom of the wall. My God, it was like hair and scaring at the top to the point where both me and Doug nearly got blocked off my uh, And a lot of other people and all. You never know a wind like it on top of the mountain. It was absolutely crazy. I took my drone. Chances of flying that. Big fat zero. I can't even fly at this level. Never mind, top of a mountain. But it's been fun and we've survived. So this was Scarlett just having a quick rest when I stopped off for a beer on the way back. And then this was the state of my legs. Wouldn't wish this on nobody. And finally, this was how far we went. And that's it for another week of Scarlett's Microventures. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, pop us a subscription. It's a like. Any comments, we reply to them all. You know the score. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week for episode 11.